Dark Side of the Moon, before we go, explain this yeah. to me. Because it's always going oh, like this. Yeah. So the moon is orbiting, is uh, rotating. Right. Yeah. It's just rotating in sync with going around Earth. So it just always looks like it's stationary, but it is actually rotating. So it's going like this. So, so, so the dark side will see the sun every 28 ish days. So as as uh, this is rotating, this is rotating too, but yeah. it's going with it. Yeah. But every now and then, because it's not perfectly in sync, you will see the other side of the moon or we never will. Uh, we never will. But the sun does. It's Yeah, the sun sees it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that part will be... So when we put astronauts in the South Pole, which we'll probably be doing in the next few years. Why? Because um, that's where we think all the water is. Wait, what does it have to do with astronauts? Oh, well, the moon. Yeah, on the moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Got it. So that part will probably, it depends on where they go, but um, they could be on a dark side of the moon kind of thing where they're not facing Earth, which would be kind of stupid. Well, there will be no water, just ice. Yeah, because that's where all, the ice is going to be in the poles. Yeah, so there's a chance that they might be having to deal with like 28 days of of darkness and then like 20-ish, eight days of sunlight, which will be brutal on the equipment. Have you seen 28 Days Later? Is that what it's called? Josh uh, Hartnett is, is, vampire movie? Uh, oh, I thought that was the zombie one. That's there's there's one of those too. Oh, I saw it was 28 days and 28 days later. I think I saw one of them in college for some reason. All right, so I wanted to know. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> My knowledge of movies yeah. is like so. So, uh, uh, if you want to follow uh, on Instagram, go to Ashley underscore. Um, oh God, no! It's the modern day Eratosthenes. Modern day Aristosthenes. Eratosthenes. Uh, and I know I already said it, but it's a great follow. <laughs> great follow. She's saying everything that's interesting without somebody interrupting constantly and, and making jokes script. that miss. <laughs> so it's way more fluid than me being like, ha, ha, ha. Were you reading off a teleprompter type thing? No, I memorize it. Look, good for you. Yeah. And then it's gone. Yeah, right. so it's like taking an exam, like an algebra exam. I'm like, must cram it. And then it's just gone. That's one the difference you between know? memorizing and visualizing. But when yeah. you memorize stuff, do you, you also have to visualize it or you can't explain it. You just don't retain stuff that way. I, I don't remember it visually. I remember it conceptually, like the feel. It's really hard to explain. I've tried to find other people like on Reddit and stuff who also have no inner monologue in the way that they think. And it's very similar. They do also do the same. Like it feels a certain way or it's conceptualized, just very complex. Hmm. And when I say feeling, it's not like I'm sad. It's like a sensation it's yeah. really weird and i gotta figure out something how to like describe it somebody smarter than me will probably figure out how to describe it well, if you it. understand it put it in the comments <laughs> it's gonna be like one like kid in like kansas is like 14 years old he's like i've cracked it yeah you know you never know but he might not know how to articulate it he'll just tell you how it feels it, which will be perfect for me because like i'm like yeah that's where my exactly. brain's at yeah all right yeah, i'm gonna feel get it. a polaroid and then we're done and then we could both pee i know i have to <laughs> i've had to poop the whole time oh really <laughs> no you could have just gone just right oh. here Oh, I mean, right. not with these pants, which I have to wear because they're the only thing I can use a, I can like wrap over. Oh, where does? Theme music. Scoot. Is that like a Polaroid Polaroid? Oh yeah. Blabbity blue. Scoot. <laughs>